All right, guys, in this video, we're going to give you a quick update and we're going to take a look at the puzzle project and what that's looking like for us, possibly even starting this season, which is crazy. Now I'm talking. Is that a question? Of course yeah. you're talking. You're yeah, I'm talking. Noise. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're. I mean, like <laughs> noise to come out of your mouth. I wasn't talking. You'd have to be talking. I'm, yeah, I'm talking to them, right? You're talking yeah, now. I'm talking to you. No, you're looking at me. <laughs> They're over there. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is the puzzle Painful project. <laughs> I, I know Jim doesn't. Yeah, I, I'm giving him a whole bunch of fun stuff to edit. But anyways, back to the video. You have no idea. <laughs> the pauses, the breaks, oh my goodness. All right, so we're here to talk about the puzzle project. So we have three snakes, we have two females, and we have a male. The first female I picked up was a pastel lesser het puzzle. I picked up a pastel het puzzle male, and just ooh, last week uh, we yeah, got, two days. yeah, we ended up getting a uh, very big girl. Yeah, 1600 something grams. Yep, she's uh, just had puzzle. Uh, we're looking forward to things we can do with her this year. We're hoping that, you know, she she hasn't hit anything or eaten anything at the moment. She's still adjusting. We're hoping that, you know, she'll start eating and hopefully breeding for us this season. Yeah, I mean, it's 1,600 grams. You know, we're gonna have two or three months here that we do our quarantine, which she is in right now. So she will be the last one that we bring out for you guys to look at. But with that said, uh, it is conceivable that she could breed this year for us. So she would come out, yep, come out of quarantine probably in October sometime. And then, you know, presuming she'll be eating and everything going well, continuing to gain weight, she could be anywhere from 1,800 up to about 2,000 grams. You know, possibly give us I mean, a solid six to eight eggs, which would be which would be fantastic to kick off the puzzle project. So. Yeah, it would be really awesome. We were with our current with the current female that we had. Uh, we probably wouldn't have been starting the puzzle stuff until next breeding season, 2020. But she's still she's still fairly small. Yeah. But while we're sitting here, this is this is her. We'll take a better look at her shortly if that's coming in. So that's our pastel lesser head puzzle girl. Uh, so. When I saw this uh, this other girl on Morph Market, it it was a no-brainer. I had to pick her up so I can get a head start on the uh, on this puzzle project. So with that piece said, one uh, not the last video, but the video before that, we talked to you guys about the new T-shirts that were coming in. So we're gonna try that that magical thing everybody does. They like to clap their hands, do a dance, or whatever. But we're just gonna uh, see if. Dude, don't, don't be shaking your head like you don't do that on Friday nights. Everybody knows you'd be clapping your hands and doing... Anyway, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go get right into this and see if we can do that quick change into new t-shirts. Ready, go! How about that? They look good or what? Uh, we got these over the weekend. Uh, I think they came out pretty good. We already have another design all kind of laid out for the next run. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much of what it is, but they'll be the same but slightly different. And then you can see on the back, it has the name on the back. So now we're styling. We got <laughs> the new logo on the t-shirts and uh, we're just ready to go. We got two shows coming up on uh, 9-9 and 9-16 yep. and we'll be sporting a new dud. So um, if you're local and you swing by, let us know what you think of the new t-shirts. And uh, without John, your ear off anymore. Let's take a quick look at some snakes. Let's do it. All right, our first one up. This is our pastel 100% head for puzzle. We picked this guy up from Tall Grass Reptiles. Me and Jim had talked about like, you know, in the past we have done auctions. We really don't do auctions too much. Uh, this guy was uh, on an auction. I was the only one that bid on him. And lo and behold, I have myself a pastel head puzzle mail. Normally our, our protocol is that we're gonna buy girls first. Uh, just because you know they're going to take twice as long if not longer to grow out so in this case it, the deal just happened to be so good that we uh you know we kind of did the backwards thing but you can see the color that comes through on this guy um, the het puzzle on him as far as color wise goes is literally just off the charts and then if you start looking down his back you can see a lot of these a lot of these breaks in the back starting to look more like the uh the actual puzzles not 100%, but you can kind of see hints of it in, in the shape of 
certain ones of these. Here you got a good a good puzzle marking here and here these little bone like marks. And you'll see these again when we look at the uh, the pastel lesser girl. She has a lot of those types of marks as well. Yeah, this guy looks phenomenal. We can't I can't wait to start this project. <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely and you know, and getting the mail first it did kind of work out for us. I mean, we we made an intentional purchase with the last female that we'll take a look at, but um, you know, we had to spend a lot more money on a het girl than you would normally at a hatchling size. Uh, but if this guy can put some of those crazy pastels over into the puzzle, um, this pu this project is really going to be off to a great start. So this, as you saw before in the early part of the video, this is the Pastel Lesser 100% Het Puzzle. Pick this girl up from Vivid Pythons out of New York. And like Jim was talking about, the, just the puzzles on the bone pieces of the design pop out a lot more in this girl than it did in the uh, in the male. Uh, and, when, and when we get to the uh, the bigger girl, she really doesn't express it as much as uh, as this girl does. Let's see if I can manipulate her a little bit. She was a little fidgety a little earlier. Get a little bit of the uh, the the pastel coming through. Some of the the blushing. Some really good colors. She looks really good for for a lesser. Uh, she definitely is probably one of our top lessers that we have. She is the het puzzle, so you can you can clearly see again with those those bone like marks there, here, even some up here. Um, and, and she has a great stripe too that starts here and is like unbroken all the way to the tail. So a good third of her body or quarter percent of her body. And the thing they say about, about the het puzzle stuff and the puzzles is that they do have a ferocious appetite. <laughs> and I will tell you, um, I can confirm that um, on the two animals that we have. Um, this girl and the male that you just saw have never really had any refusals and they just they just chow through food um pound pound food and i'm pretty confident that once this larger girl gets settled in um she as well will be uh destroying some food and then gaining some some solid weight yeah i definitely agree but you can even see in, like even along the, the top of the pattern she's even got some of these like blacks that are coming through really good looking girl so pastel lesser head puzzle all right so this is the girl that we picked up this year. 100% het puzzle. 640 grams. 600? Try 1600. Sorry, 16, <laughs> 1640 grams. But this girl, she's just so oh, heavy. She doesn't have the pastel, but you can see a lot of this, this great yellow and stuff coming through. Um, again, like we were talking about, doesn't really have a lot of the strong indicators like on the other two along the, along the dorsal that have those bones or those puzzle-like looking pieces. Um, she actually doesn't like Matt, and yeah. every time he touches her, she tries to bite him. Me, on the other hand, I haven't had that issue yet, so she may end up being mine. <laughs> I ain't giving her up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she was a little feisty when we first got her here. We uh, opened her up, Jim was holding her, and every time I walked by her, she would, she would strike at me. She's definitely in the plan for this year. Like, we just got to finish getting her, you know through quarantine for the next month or two, put the mail to her and see what happens. Yep, so that's that's the group so far. That's the breeding group uh, for us here for the puzzle project. And we finished that with this girl here at 1600 plus grams, 100% het puzzle. So there you have it. That's the puzzle project that we have currently. So uh, we have a lot of plans for the future and what we're gonna do with that. Just hopefully this year, the plans start out the way we want it to. Yeah, I mean, when you, all you can do is, you know, put animals together and eventually you're going to get what you need, eventually. Um, <laughs> right, that's so, the key word. So if all, things, if all things are true and the animals are what they've been sold as, which we have no reason to believe they're not, it's just a matter of hitting the odds. So she's taken a meal, which is fantastic news. We're off to a good start. Uh, there should be many more meals to come for her. Get her out of quarantine and then come November, December, ish start pairing unless she has you know follicular development or something like that that shows sooner uh, then maybe we get started a little bit sooner but as for right now the plan would be to start her rate off about the same time as the rest of the uh, girls go around here and do that so in the comments down below let us know what you think of the uh the new new shirts yeah. everybody calls it merch or this or that yeah whatever it's t-shirt <laughs> um let us know what you think of the new logo and uh 
name on the back, all that stuff. The only other thing that I wanted to mention, we are about 12 days or so from cutting two clutches of eggs that are both due on the same day. So those will be done live. So thanks again. Uh, we're still getting uh, followers coming. Thank you, every, all the new followers, subscribers. Uh, thank you all for following. In the last video, I did thank all the new people. I also want to extend as much of a welcome and thank you for following us as all the people that have been following all along as well. Um, we obviously wouldn't be this far along without you with us. So thanks to everybody that has subscribed to the channel. If you like the content you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell and then let us know down below what you like or what you don't for that matter. All right. Thank you. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care. Oh, I'm talking. You're freaking snakes. <laughs> Jeez, like you guys explain everything here.